Thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, and thank you, gentlemen. Uh, General Gio, I was going to ask the very question that our chairman just asked about the fentanyl crisis. I, I view it as a very serious matter, and so uh, please understand from the chair and the ranking member uh, where we uh, rank that issue. Let me ask you, you mentioned domain awareness in your opening statement. We're not where we need to be in domain awareness, are we? Senator, I agree. Uh, although uh, steps through uh, the, the government, Congress's funding, and uh, industry were making strides in that direction, uh, the fact that the adversaries we face can uh, attack us from distances further away at speeds, altitudes with maneuverability, and low cross uh, uh, radar cross sections that we hadn't seen in the past, uh, it, it's a constant fight to have the domain awareness, the ability to detect uh, these threats, uh, and, and it takes our, our constant and, and improving effort because, after all, we, we can't defeat what we can't see. You know, it seems to me that the, the um, balloon fiasco uh, that occurred several months ago is an example of this. I have a question here which I don't want to read uh, uh, word for word. Do you commit to sharing information with this committee even when it is contrary to the administration communications objectives? And I ask that question because we on this side have asked some specific questions in writing of the administration and uh, have not gotten all of the answers we needed. And uh, during a visit to Beijing in June, Secretary of State Blinken said uh, publicly that the Chinese balloon matter uh, is a chapter that should be closed. Uh, if, if members of the Congress believe there are questions to be answered, you do commit to a answering those questions regardless of the uh, views of, of the administration, do you not? Y yes, Senator, I absolutely do. Thank you very much. And let me ask you, I, I was glad to hear that you and General Whiting were classmates at the Academy, is that correct? Uh, yes, Senator, although uh, I think he graduated much higher in the uh, order of merit than I well, did. Well, I was going to ask yeah. about that. Did you find that his excellent um, high school education at Ocean Springs High School in Mississippi <laughs> gave him a leg up over most of the other? Uh, Senator, I have no doubt that was the springboard. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. You're, I think you're, uh, you're well on your way uh, to confirmation. Um, General uh, Whiting, um, we're, uh, you're going to be giving up some of, of your more commercial duties from uh, your predecessor and moving them over to the Department of Commerce as far as space situational awareness. Tell us about that, and, and I understand you think that's a good idea and that Congress made the correct move there. Uh, Ranking member, thank you for that question. It's a really important issue. Today, the Space Force provides space situational awareness um, to the entire, the entire world, really. But we do that for non-military purposes. But under the, your leadership and, and the actions of Congress, uh, that civil portion of that responsibility is now transferring to, to the Department of Commerce. And they are very willing partners in that. And we are working a plan with them that over the next couple of years, they will take on that non-military responsibility. Um, and that will free up capacity inside of our military formations to focus on the military unique responsibilities that we have. Um, so we, we really appreciate that uh, leadership from the Congress and the work of the Department of Commerce to take that on. Okay, now I want to ask a question that will require a relatively brief answer, but then I'll ask you to supplement it on the record. Let's war game in, a, in what we can do publicly. Let's say that the Communist Party of China under Xi Jinping decides to invade their neighbor Taiwan. There will be uh, a battle in space. Uh, almost immediately. Is that correct? Sir, uh, I agree. We think the opening shots of such a, a war could happen in uh, space or cyber. Okay. What I'd like for you to do, and I know, I know you, can, you only got 38 seconds to, to speak, but if you could sort of give us an overview briefly and then supplement your answer on the record, sir. Yes, sir, because the People's Republic of China has studied how we use space, uh, we do expect that they would try to uh, inhibit our ability to use space the way we would prefer to across the joint force. And uh, Senator, if it's good with you, I'll, I'll take you up on your offer and provide additional details. Absolutely, yes, because sir. it's uh, quite complex and, uh, and requires more than five minutes even. Thank you, and thank you, Mr. Chairman. 
Thank you, Senator Worker. Uh, Senator Trahe.